What it do? What it do? What it do? I see a clock and everything. What up, man? This your boy, The Humblest. I'm back um, for another one of my um, video diaries. I'm going to try to get to the point after watching the last video. I seen, you know, I kind of was like dragging. Really, energy was low. You know, and the video was just too long and kind of boring. But uh, I just wanted to, to track and dialogue or or document my, my, my progress and, and my understanding as to the black condition of the black community. Um, once again, shout out ADOS, Antonio Moore, Yvette Carnell, uh, Professor William Darity, Sandy Darity, um, and a number of others. All, all of you guys that's involved in this struggle to try to help black people get reparations. Um, I am slowly um, coming to an understanding of how America wronged black people. Um, and I'm seeing that that conversation is not a popular one. I see how people are dismissive and passive. And even in the black community, we have so many people who really don't understand the effects and the trauma of slavery and Jim Crow and mass incarceration, what that did to the black um, uh, Americans uh, was just set them back, like just put them behind as uh, far as in every, every uh, major economic category so you know in my understanding man just just uh it's caused me to be quite uh frustrated with wondering what is left for for me to get from america um one of the things that i had a conversation with a couple friends is that people think like you can do for self and i think that is uh, true like you can do for self you can work hard you can um pick yourself up and, and have uh, the ability to, to, to function in life. But at the same time, it's not really true because you ultimately not playing with your own money when you do for self. Like say, for instance, you open a business. People don't really understand like how businesses work and how they function. And, and you know, you get involved and you just think that, um, you know, that's the way out. But really, you using other people, you, you're using other people's money so sometimes, loans and things like that. So that, and, uh, you know, you're really not the owner of what you think you are. So anyways, you know, to make a long story short, man, you know, I'm just going to keep building on this channel. I'm just going to keep speaking on these issues. It's about three in the morning. I work night. So normally I'm up at night just uh, in my thoughts. And when I go across Facebook, you know, um, Thanks to the awareness that uh, I've gotten from uh, Antonio Moore and Yvette Carnell, um, you know, I could just kind of see how even here in Wisconsin and Milwaukee, how we are sleepwalkers, you know, how we are not engaged, um, you know, in the fight. And we like most of my, 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 my news feed is filled up with celebrity like gossip and, you know, people who are sending the message that, you know, it's a, it's about me, you know, so we really don't think about each other. And, you know, I just wanted to change that, you know, I wanted to see what I could do to kind of um, leave this world in better condition than when I found it. And, uh, you know, it's going to take some work, black people, it's going to take us to unite uh, as long, I mean, as well as with white people, white people, you, you guys, um, if you care about justice like we do, you guys will see to it that the descendants of uh, American shadow slavery gets their justice, you know, that we get what what was owed to us. We're not asking for a handout. We're asking for compensation uh, for that lost labor that would have allowed our families to uh, have wealth in America. That 40 acres of a mule would have would have stopped this whole conversation. We wouldn't we wouldn't have had anything to talk about at this point. But because that that 40 acres and a mule was, um, you know, they they uh, they reneged on that promise. You know, black people are in a condition right now today where. You know, we live in some of the worst communities. We we struggle with ec education. We're at the bottom of everything, you know, and, and, and first fire, last hire. So we just need help with that. And uh, we're not asking for you to give us something that we haven't earned. We have paid a cost to America. We have uh, filled your prisons. We have work we've, we've created, you know, without black society, without black Americans, you don't have uh, a Michael Jordan. To, to represent America. You don't have uh, a, a 
Tiger Woods or Magic Johnson. You know, all that stuff is, is it comes from America. It's, it's made a contribution to America, and 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 and. and they communities, those communities that those people are from, they need, we need redress. We need America to um, repair us for what they did. You know, we, we have, a, 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 I wanted to say added cost, but we just paid a price, man. And, and, and even myself, people say, hey, aren't you doing good? You know, I, I you know, when, when, when Yvette and Tone talked about the, what wealth is, how you have to uh, subtract your, your, uh, your assets from your debts you know, your liability and all that stuff with Sandy Darity, you know, might be framing it wrong, but that just shows me I'm black too. Like, damn, I don't have no money. Yet. And what wealth is, is I think it's the ability to allow you to fail. It's the ability to allow you to make a mistake. And if you live in a country where you can't make mistakes, man, you might as well get up out of here. You, you, why? You know, most people can walk off a job because they got wealth to support them. They got wealth to keep the rent paid and lights on. You know what I'm saying? That that came from generations passing that wealth down through uh, uh, home ownership, through uh, in vivo transfers, you know, things like that. So we've never had that in the black community. Some people have. And those people are very, very um, dis disruptive when it comes to everybody else. getting. Some people in the black community were born at the right time where America allowed them access to some semblance of wealth. And uh, they have been um, in the way of, of everybody else getting a piece of that, you know, um, opportunity or, or, or telling us to be quiet when we demand reparations. But once again, you know, I just wanted to be quick here. Uh, I'm going to keep coming with these things too. Um, I'm going to try to develop my channel and just try to get some more positive uh <laughs> content on my channel you know um but you know um, i'm signing off right here man so everybody take care hope that your spirit is good and clean and uh until next time man this is the humblest i'm out peace